2024 was the year of capitalizing on opportunity. Core Scientific's expanded into new business lines. We've grown our asset base. And are building one of the largest data center companies in the United States. Let's begin in January 2024. Yeah, so we emerged from bankruptcy in January. Core Scientific is now listed on NASDAQ under the symbol C-O-R-Z. It felt like we had actually done something amazing. It was one of the best equity recoveries in the history of Chapter 11. Your CEO, Adam Sullivan, for further remarks. Adam? Even when we IPO'd, we rang the closing bell. There was a lot of excitement, but most people in the space didn't even know we were public again. Together, we built an amazing business that is now laser focused on building and operating at superior efficiency at scale. Our emergence price is $5.02. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and what happens on the first day of trading? Trade down to $3. We got a lot of calls from a lot of the creditors saying, we told you so. As we close the NASDAQ market for this week, we open an exciting new chapter for our company full of opportunities. Felt like just wait. That's what I want to tell them. Just wait until you can see what we can do. Up until this point, Core Scientific had previously only been seen as a Bitcoin miner. And then something else happened in 23 that led to some success in 24 that was really behind the scenes and no one saw it coming. During the bankruptcy process, you can't sign contracts. You can't do really much of anything outside of what your existing business is. Back in July of 2023, we started working on our data center strategy. We started working through a number of different proposals around it. As we started to get closer to the emergence from bankruptcy, we had the opportunity to actually start to push harder on that. In comes our new client, the AI hyperscaler, CoreWeave. We ended up doing a deal where we come in and converted a data center in Austin into an AI compute data center for those guys, filled with some very high performance uh, GPUs that process inference and generative and, and large language model AI projects. The big change was our Q1 earnings call, finally introducing this new business line to the market, giving people an opportunity to understand everything that we had been working on. We target tier one HPC hosting revenue on the order of 1.4 million to $1.6 million per megawatt per year with gross margin of 75 to 80%. Power costs and utilities are direct pass through to clients. And even after we announced our quarterly earnings of Q1 that showed blockbuster numbers compared to our peers, it almost went un unheard by the rest of the market. From that moment until we got to the time period when we announced the second core weave deal, suddenly we had the opportunity to finally tell the market what we had been up to. On June 3rd, Core Scientific announced it will provide approximately 200 megawatts of infrastructure to support Core Weave's high performance computing services, setting up Core Scientific as the leading player in the AI data center space. That changed investors, it changed their mindset, changed who they were. And there was a growing excitement about the business. They announced this is their first deal, their first big conversion of one of their existing data centers. What else can they do? It's all gradually, then suddenly. June 3rd was the suddenly moment. Shortly after the 200 megawatt deal, Core Scientific signed another 70 megawatt deal with CoreWeave. And then on August 6th, another deal of 112 megawatts, followed by another deal of 120 megawatts on October 22nd, expanding the total contracted infrastructure for high-performance computing to approximately 500 megawatts. The combined contracts for the total 500 megawatts represents a potential cumulative revenue of $8.7 billion over the 12-year life of the contracts. And that's still not everything we accomplished this year. 
we hit the gas at conferences. We hosted events with investors and a senator from Texas, all while never losing sight of our roots. We also added over 100 megawatts of infrastructure to support our Bitcoin mining business. We completed our $460 million convertible note offering. We leased a new data center in Auburn, Alabama and broke ground in Muskogee, Oklahoma. Our market cap continued to grow. If I talk about shares, I mean, Core is up 400% in 2024 so far. Stock price appreciation triggered mandatory conversion of secured convertible notes, eliminating $260 million in debt from our balance sheet. In December, we completed another $625 million convertible note offering. We've started the process of converting some of our existing Bitcoin mining sites into HPC data centers. And finally, we are working diligently to turn our Denton site into becoming one of the largest GPU supercomputers in North America. I got a call from one of the other major data center CEOs. He's like, I just want to say congratulations. And holy <laughs> I've been on the phone all day with the other CEOs in this industry talking about how insane of an announcement this is. We're excited for you. We didn't even know who you were before. He's like, I think everyone's gonna know who you are now.